Hello, my name's Steve. I'm an astronomer at Glasgow Science Centre and welcome to Stargazing in Scotland, introducing you to the night sky from a Scottish perspective. In this video, I'll be sharing some of my top tips so you can get outside and start stargazing. Ideally, you want to look at the stars while outside. When stargazing in Scotland, especially in the winter, it can get very cold. Even in the summer, it gets a little bit chilly. So what you're wearing is especially important. Some of my most treasured stargazing possessions are my warm hat, my woolly gloves, and my thermal underwear. Lots of layers are important to keep us toasty warm. Once you're cold, you're cold, and it's easier to take layers off if you get too warm than it is to add them if you get too cold. I usually wear a couple of pairs of socks and some stout footwear as well to keep my feet warm. Something else you'll need when you're stargazing in the dark is a torch to keep you safe. The best kind of torch for stargazing is actually a red torch. Now don't worry if you don't have one at home, you can just use a normal white torch but then sellotape some red cellophane to the front. A red sweetie wrapper works quite well, if you don't have one of those, try some brown paper. A red light torch just helps you keep your night vision when you're looking at your star maps or finding a way around outside. White light is a little bit too bright and it can dazzle our eyes. Once you've covered the basics, you'll want to start adding the extras. Maybe a star map or a pair of binoculars to help you see further. We'll cover how to use these things in another Stargazing in Scotland video. After the basics and the extras, you can start adding in the luxury items. A flask of hot chocolate, a reclining deck chair, and a warm blanket always make stargazing a much more enjoyable experience for me. As much as possible, we should try and get as far away from street lights as we can. Street lights cause light pollution that can dazzle you, affecting your night vision. They also light the sky up so that the faint stars aren't nearly as visible. However, if we can't get out into the dark skies of Scotland, you can try stargazing from your home or your garden. If you're stargazing inside, it's really important to follow some simple advice. Keep the lights off inside and keep your windows open safely. Although glass is transparent, it can cause reflections, which makes it harder to see fainter stars. If you're heading outside your home to stargaze, turn your back on any street lights so they don't dazzle you and try and fill your eyes with as much sky as possible. Once you're set up and ready, it's important to be patient. It takes a little while for your eyes to get used to the dark, sometimes 10 or 20 minutes. Once you are dark adapted, it's important to stay that way. Avoid looking at any bright lights. Don't look at street lights, car headlights, and especially don't look at your phone or tablet screens. They can spoil your night vision. And finally, when should you go stargazing? Well, I usually go stargazing to try and avoid the full moon. Now don't get me wrong, the moon is beautiful, but it's also incredibly bright. It can dazzle you and affect your view of the night sky. I also go stargazing after twilight has ended, so there's no sunlight in the sky anymore. You can find out twilight times at websites like timeanddate.com. Many weather apps will also tell you the times of sunset and twilight. But don't worry if you can't get the conditions perfect. The best time to go stargazing is whenever you have clear skies. There's always something amazing to see in Scotland. Download our Stargazing in Scotland pack for more information and watch our other Stargazing in Scotland videos to find out what else we can see in the night sky. Happy stargazing.